have these Swiffer sweeper, their dry sweeper pads. These are going to be used as a makeshift small hive beetle trap. Small hive beetles seem to be a little high in one of my hives. These dry Swiffer sheets have two textures. The front texture is smooth and when you unfold it the other side is really fibrous. So the concept here for the small hive beetles is the bees will chase the little beetles around and when a small hive beetle scurries across the fabric part of the Swiffer pad they'll get stuck. Now I have already become aware that bees can get stuck in this as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sheet and I'm going to cut the strips maybe what one inch wide strips and then that way I'll just lay a small strip across the top of the boxes. It don't matter if they're even you know this isn't rocket science or anything here. These are unscented Swifter sheets by the way. Next thing I'm going to do is before we put these in the hive we're going to give them a little extra texture on the fabric -y side. I'm going to use this little wire brush and very simply and all you're doing fluffing it up. Here is what I call hive number one. Uh, this is a garden style hive. It's an eight frame. This was the colony that I mentioned had a lot of hive beetles on the top of the box. They do have a big bee population. There's lots of bees in there. Let's take a look underneath the lid and I want to get you guys right up and close so you can see if there's any hive beetles running around. There's a handful of them, not a lot. My initial plan was to come out here and put in Swifter sheets, but after a closer look, there's really not a lot of hive beetles going on here, so maybe no action is needed. And a big tip to any of the new beekeepers out there that are watching when they say it's hard to put in the last frame, use the hive tool, push the frames to one side, and you get just enough room. I always try to smoke the ends so I can push the frames together. Smoke the ends, it gets the bees out of the way. So I've changed my mind, I'm not even gonna add the Swifter sheets. I do know that I have to add a box to this colony. Here in Florida, I like to use these ventilated inner covers. You see there's just enough of a gap opening here to let air flow through. How about for an experiment, we lay one across the top just for an experiment so I don't know if that's gonna do anything from time to time beetles do crawl up on the top to get away from the bees so we'll just see if they crawl up underneath there and we'll see if I catch any bees in the process <laughs> 